vlog and a couple quick updates. Um, or just or convention out. Let's start over. Convention announcements for this fall. Um, I will be at in attendance at Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2023 and at KomoraCon 2023. PRGE is in October, that is this month, and KomoraCon is in November. I will, I'll be in attendance at both of these conventions. I will not be paneling uh, at KomoraCon this year. Um, I only really have the one panel ready, and it's, I did it last year. I don't have enough to add to it to do it over again and do it again, you know, the very next year afterwards. So that's how things stand there. Um, so that's how things go or are going there. Um, and general vlog stuff. Um, so, um, I fell a bit behind in my video recording. Um, just general quick quality of life announcement uh, thing. Um, that is because I am currently dealing with a minor life thing. It's un it is under control, but it is time inducing. I'm not inducing time consuming. Time consuming is better. It does not induce time. It would not, it does not give me more time, if only. But no, it is time consuming. So long story short, I was in a automotive collision and my car was totaled. I am fine. I am to the best of my non-medical knowledge, fine. The other person, the accident, similarly fine. Uh, my car, my car, not so much. So I am in the process of dealing with that insurance has been dealt with. It's not something where I'm going to be automotively challenged in terms of being not being able to get to work. Um, and so I can continue. This is going to impact my. This is not going to impact my ability to work. I'm still going to be working. I had money set aside for um, getting an apartment, but that's going to be have to be put on hold because that money is going to be going towards well, down payment on a car. But the point is, I had the money there available to do that with. So this could have been worse. This is not me. Putting a link in the doobly doo for a um, GoFundMe or anything like that. I am fine there. Um, like, if you really feel that you want to toss me some additional cash, there is the Kofi link down there. Um, I don't object, but this isn't a this isn't a critical situation in terms of as of this recording. Um, in terms of that sort of thing. So that, that is okay. I am certainly going to have enough material out of the car shopping experience to hopefully have a interesting vlog on the other side of it, but not there yet. Um, but yes, that, that going through the whole process is kind of put on hold. Um, some videos that I had in mind, at least by a week. That's why my um, back. That's why if you're on Patreon, the uh, this like the my usual Wednesday video was kind of delayed for a bit. Um, I will get caught up on. I'll try to get caught up on soon. Honestly, this vlog is part of me doing that by giving an announcement of what's going on and explaining why if you're on Patreon there was that delay. We will um, so. And certainly, as far as the spooky season goes, the prospect of going car shopping is a very scary experience. Um, not in the sense of, like, as a person with autism, um, going through the process of going to a car, like, goodness, like, when I, before I got the car that I had now, um, like, I didn't do online shopping around to figure out what kind of car I wanted, or, I mean, I did some online shopping, but I didn't do, like, find the car dealership that had the car I wanted and the, didn't, I didn't do the things that I'm doing now. Uh, I've learned a lot since then. Um, however, like interest rates being as they are car dealerships, like as like being how they are. And again, being an autistic person who can deal with running the sensory overload and stuff. I'm not 
completely looking forward to the experience of going to a no one should be, but I'm especially not. I, I'm not a fan of going to a car dealership and having to go through the experience of getting aggressively upsold on, um, for the car and for extras and that sort of thing. Um, not helped by like a description of the, the current car buying process is like really this was for a new car on a recent episode of, um, of uh remap radios uh bonus podcast show that they have um like i will i do recommend if you liked waypoint um and you're not backing um uh remap yet or if you didn't if you hadn't heard that waypoint had moved to remap radio um they'd all kind of moved over there uh i'll have a link to that in the show notes because they're doing good stuff there and they're um they're calling their hoa show which involves getting into home ownership, home buying, and car buying got remarkably topical all of a sudden for me. It's very enlightening in a lot of respects. So there's that. Um, otherwise, um, while the WGA strike is up, the SAG after strike strike is still ongoing and expanding to video games. Uh, near as I can tell the SAG after as of this recording, the SAG after strike is focusing on like a selection of specific studios and publisher um, studios, developers, and companies who handle voice acting and motion capture recording. And so this should not, as I, I did my research before I started doing uh, Alan make remastered, remastered for the uh, where I play. And to my knowledge, it is not a struck work. Um, it is not one of the impacted companies when it, with regards to the strike. So and that's probably the reason why I picked that game as opposed to something else. Um, so I will should be able to continue with Alan Wake in solidarity with sag -Aftra. And as far as everything else goes, um, we will continue with my regular horror movie reviews. I will probably, um, I'm not going to drop, um, bat, um, the, um, planned Batman review for this month because we're actually getting into a fairly spooky little plot line here in terms of, uh, recurring, a recurring serial killer antagonist, a frequent, um, foe was many a horror film. So that's, that's a reason to keep going with Batman there, but I might drop or at least skip uh, the uh, Nintendo Power Retrospective video for this month just to give me that one more spot for a horror movie because it's it's the spooky season. I want to cover spooky stuff. We'll see. For more updates, follow my social media. There'll be links to where you can follow me in the doobly-doo. Catch you all later. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.